that ICP page again. Go backwards, find that little ICP. What we just did was decrease motor function under posturing, the page we were on. Some of y'all don't look for another page. Stay with your girl, Maria. Stay with your girl. You the popo, -po, you better watch her. She's gonna be out. Even if she ain't with it, turn her page. <laughs> okay, now, what we just did, if you notice, was decreased. Y'all see that? Next on the list is this headache. Please do your girl a favor. Let's put some notes about headaches. Bad headaches and good headaches. Um, there's no good headache, but there are emergency type of headaches. I just told you, occipital headache is a subarachnoid hemorrhage. It is caused by uncontrolled hypertension. Occipital headache, uncontrolled hypertension. Another type of headache, which is not concerning, but you don't know what it is yet, so you still have to work it up. Your migraine patient. Let's just put a little information about migraines real quick. Number one, the patient is young. That's the key. The patient is young. What's your name for baby? I gotta get that one. Aw, the baby out. Hey, you're real sweet. Oh, Maria, they love you, girl. They trying to take care of that baby. I know. You okay? <laughs> so migraine is a patient who's young. They're usually female. They can usually tell you about an aura, a bright light, ringing in the ears, something weird. But the key for all of you is that they're usually young. The older they get, the more migraines stop. The other thing about a migraine is it could be unilateral. And we have something called abortive therapy, which means to stop the migraine. And we have something called prophylactic therapy, something to prevent the migraine. If we consider what we would do to stop the migraine, we are going to put our sleep patient in a dark room, in a bed, with quiet, we're going to give them, if it's uh, somebody you don't have medications for, in other words, maybe, you know, for whatever reason, wherever you are doesn't have a lot of medications. Maybe they just have pretty much over the counter in the clinic setting. These are the two things, I call it a cocktail. My nurses know what they are because I say, give her a cocktail, put her in room 10. And what happens is we give them Mountain Dew, which is what, saying what? What is that really? Caffeine, highest caffeine product without buying a monster drink or five hour. You like it too, honey? You like that? She got her? Like oh, shit. We got to watch her. Okay, now I ain't mad at that, baby. You stay awake. So Mountain Dew is one of the highest caffeine drinks outside of Monster and Five Hours and the things that came out later. Mountain Dew, I really do give the patient that, and I give them 600 of Motrin. Those two together are better than anybody's trip tan or Imitrex. Now, if you do have trip tans, don't forget what I called it, trip tans, trip tans. Trip tans are migraine medicine. I don't know if they're in there. Let me write one over there. Oh, thank God. Trip tans are great, but they're expensive, and they can be used too much. So trip tans are medications like Imitrex, Maxalt, Imitrex or Maxalt. You don't have to go crazy with those two names because the generic drug ends in triptan. What you gotta know about those drugs, 
they're great for border therapy, but they cause vasoconstriction. Why do you care? Because all headaches are from vasodilation. Every headache any patient ever has is from vasodilation. I don't care what the deal is, it's from vasodilation. So we give caffeine, which is vasoconstricting, and Motrin, which is vasoconstricting, and we give, you know, a trip tan if we have to, which is vasoconstricting. Who can't take a trip tan? Hypertensive patients. So hypertensive patients, trip tans are contraindicated in. Okay. Now, that patient that I just gave you was the patient that we did abortive therapy. The only other thing I would add for abortive therapy is an anti-emetic. I would add an anti-emetic. Because most migraine patients are nauseous or even throw up right in front of you. Prevention may be foods, basically cheeses, MSG, deli meats, caffeine, it's kind of crazy. Overdoing caffeine or getting a migraine, treating the migraine as caffeine. Like what? Alcohol, artificial sweeteners. Okay, so those are some triggers. Sometimes fluorescent lights can trigger it. So stopping the trigger. Not getting enough sleep can trigger it. Birth control pills can trigger it. Birth control pills. Okay. Now, for the prophylactic therapy, we want to make sure, and this is all preventative, magnesium supplements, calcium channel blockers, star that one, calcium channel blockers for prevention, or beta blockers, or tricyclic antidepressants like the one on the board called amitriptyline. Amitriptyline slash Elevil is a tricyclic antidepressant. And it's really, really, really effective for migraines. Melatonin. Massage therapy. Green leafy vegetables. Imagine that. So it was the answer to everything. Peppermint oil. And ice to the neck. What does ice do? Vasoconstrict, see? Migraines are vasodilation, any headache. Okay, last headache for you guys. It's only two lines, it ain't much. Cluster headaches. Cluster headaches usually happen to patients who drink a lot. So alcoholics are patients who didn't get any sleep. Cluster headaches. Alcoholics are patients who didn't get any sleep. And it happens all of a sudden. They're going to say it feels like somebody's stabbing me behind my eye. It is a very severe pain. It's unilateral. Their eye is red and tearing. They get frequent attacks that last 15 minutes to two hours and it's always at night. Frequent attacks lasting anywhere from 15 minutes to two hours, and it's always at night. 
Lying down makes the pain worse. It is not life-threatening. The treatment for this patient is oxygen first. You're going to give oxygen first. And triptans work as well. You can go tell this fool to stop drinking and get some sleep. So prevention is stop drinking, get some sleep, and calcium channel blockers.